Hey everybody, welcome to Plant Based News. So in this video, we're gonna showcase some amazing uh, or inspiring plant-based transformation. There's a clip shown in this video taken from uh, an upcoming online summit called Plant Fit Summit. If you wanna get access to the whole summit, check the link down below and then you can gain access. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the video. I was just a little kid and my uh, grandma was diagnosed with end-stage heart disease, sent home to, in a wheelchair to die. She already did so many bypass surgeries, she basically ran out of plumbing at some point. There's nothing more the doctors they could do. She was so she was given her medical death sentence at age 65. Um, but then she heard about this guy, Nathan Pritikin, one of our early lifestyle medicine pioneers. She became one of his first patients. She's actually featured in Pritikin's biography. Talks about Francis Greger, my grandmother. You know, they wheeled her in and she walked out. Uh, in fact, a few weeks, she was walking 10 miles a day, went on to live another you know, 31 years till age 96 to continue to enjoy six grandkids, including me. I mean, so that's what did it for me. That's why I went to medicine. That's why I, uh, you know, started nutritionfacts.org. That's why I wrote How Not to Die. That's why all the proceeds I received from all the sales of my books all goes to charity. I just want to do for your family what Pritikin did for my family. I just heard from um, a woman who had, uh, she had 20 years of suffering from terrible digestive problems and bloating and, um, and uh, feeling constantly ill and not having energy. And she thought this was life. And her doctors had never mentioned food. They told her they did a celiac test and she was negative and that was it. They never mentioned fiber. They never mentioned probiotics or prebiotics or plant foods at all. And then she came to one of our um, online courses that we offered and she changed her diet overnight and she went plant-based and she went with whole foods and she started eating a lot of kimchi and fermented vegetables and homemade almond milk yogurt and miso and eating way more fiber and she got incredible results. Her irritable bowel syndrome disappeared, her migraines went away, her arthritis disappeared, she had more and more energy and um, you know she is just thrilled. She's got her life back. And, uh, you know, to be honest, her friends were kind of slow to get with it. A lot of them didn't support her at first, um, but uh, they were afraid she wouldn't get enough protein. Um, but she persevered because she could see that she was on a track that was changing your life. And, and she lost a bunch of weight. I don't think I mentioned that. Um, and uh, she now has a five-year-old daughter whose favorite food is broccoli. So it gets passed on to the next generation. You know, what we do isn't just for us. It's for all generations to come. One lady came to me with ovarian cancer that spread into her lung and she had four liters of fluid taken out of her lung with a needle of cancer cause of cancer fluid and she was given three months to live and now it's that was in 1997 and now it's 20 years later and she has no cancer thriving in great health i've seen i've been in practice long enough now where i have patients that i saw more than 20 years ago who were given very little time to live you know what I mean? I had one guy who had a heart disease that was, you know, and so now he's 97 years old. Back when he was 77, he was near death with heart disease, you know, and now he's 97 jumping on his roof and chopping wood, you know what I mean, with, with an ax. You know, so uh, it's wonderful to see these people thriving. Well, we do a lot of clinical trials here. So we get to have a lot of contact with people who might not otherwise have tried something like this. So a woman in her 60s who doesn't even know how to pronounce vegan um, with diabetes for 30 years and suddenly follows this diet because she has to, she's part of a study, and becomes the vegan foodie, vegan expert person who doesn't have diabetes anymore and is this advocate for changing the whole healthcare system because if she'd only known decades ago what um, and for physicians even knew this information. So to see, and I'm you know I'm thinking of a woman in particular. I won't say her name, but to see something like that happen to someone who kind of reminds me of my mom, it's like that's amazing. Like I never would have thought it would it, it expanded into demographics like that. So I, I love seeing that. Just had somebody come off blood pressure medication. Um, lower their cholesterol, come down three dress sizes, lose 40 pounds, and um, experience the vitality that she's never felt. Um, I have somebody else who has completely healed, well, gosh, I have more than one person who has completely healed digestive issues, 
gosh, I've seen so many things. My own father had an atrial fibrillation, which is now gone. I've seen people literally cut their body weight in half, going from morbid obesity to uh, a really, really healthy body weight. Um, I've seen my own father's prostate cancer grind to a dead halt. Um, I mean, I've seen athletes go from good performance to great performance, from great performance to, oh my God, performance. Someone who was literally over 400 pounds and they law and they're like 150 pounds. They're, I mean, that's a big drop, right? That you're talking 250 pounds loss. When I saw that and how their whole life changed, not just for them, but everyone who knows their story, everyone who sees that person is impacted in such a way because they saw not just the health benefits, but literally their frame of mind. Like for me, people look at me, they, 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 they don't know me. They, the difference isn't that big, right? Yeah, I lost some weight, but it's not a huge difference. But when you can physically see this transformation that way, and not to see them on the outside, but they show their metal, medical records where their blood levels are changed and their uh, the inside was changed. Saved my life. Uh, becoming high raw, plant-based, yeah, I, it got rid of lupus. Uh, it healed my body. It got rid of blood clots, gave me energy, let me have my children, lets me have a future without fear where I can just look forward to growing old with my husband instead of waiting for the next thing to go wrong. It gave me everything. Plant-based eating has allowed me to reverse a chronic lifestyle disease, lose and maintain a 60-pound weight loss. I think she was around 260 pounds. Uh, she was diabetic. And her husband joined the program with us and he reached out to us and said, could you please give my wife extra attention because this is her last hope. And what I mean by that was that she was preparing herself to go undergo surgery, uh, like gastric bypass surgery, um, to basically rubber band her stomach to where she would lose weight because she had just given up all hope. And the challenge just ended and she reached out to us and said that she lost um, significant amount of weight. I can't remember the exact number is 20, 25 pounds over the course of eight weeks for someone that was very inactive. And she told us that she felt sexy again. She told us that she was also going to forego the surgery. And man, it just makes me like, it still makes me emotional right now because I'm just so happy that I could have that kind of impact on somebody's life to, just by changing a little bit of their lifestyle for them to not have to go through that. He was suffering from arthritis in his 30s, extreme arthritis. He couldn't even walk up and down stairs. And he tried everything uh, to, to try and heal his body. And he was, he was in a marriage and it was just, he was, it was causing him all sorts of de depression. It was, he had uh, problems with his relationship. And he started to research and understand that eating foods uh, that, were alkaline um, and plant-based foods started to then combat uh, the arthritis and he's turned his life and health around and he did some pretty extreme things. He discovered that, that tart cherry uh, is very beneficial for um, combating uh, inflammation. So he would have these cherry shakes and literally he, he'd have one and within a few hours he talked about how he could suddenly walk. Like he couldn't walk for, for months. And then he would have these foods and immediately notice the effect, the inflammation in his body dying. And it shows that arthritis really is uh, a dietary link disease. Um, it's not necessarily uh, hereditary or other lifestyle related. It's directly related to nutrition. And, uh, and he's a massive advocate for plant-based um, nutrition now and talks about consuming foods um, specifically to help that, that type of disease. And so just his story was very profound. Um, it's not it's not a guy that's won a bodybuilding comp like me or something. It's, uh, it was just someone that every sense of his being was suffering and he was able to turn that around with, with plant-based nutrition. One client that we had recently growing up, she was picked on for her weight and she was always insecure and she never wanted to even wear a bathing suit at the beach and she had really severe acne. 
And over the eight weeks, she lost over 10 pounds and she was feeling comfortable enough to wear like a tank top again. And her skin cleared up so much. And she even took before and after pictures of her acne and her skin cleared up. And she just said it was, you know, the first time in a long time that she felt beautiful and confident. And she actually did the challenge with her husband. And she felt like so happy that they could go to the gym together and that they were like a fit couple now. I had uh, inflammatory skin disorder that a plant-based uh, diet uh, healed, no medication. I had uh, some digestive disorders that a plant-based diet healed with no medication. I had um, joint pain and inflammation that a plant-based healed, which gave me the ability to work out again the way that I want to. My allergies disappeared. Short from saying it's miraculous, um, these are the things that a plant-based diet has done for me. It's giving me kind of like my life back. My parents, based on what they saw with me, decided to go on a plant-based diet as well, and I guided them through it. And my parents at 70 years old went off of medication completely for the first time in decades. And for me, that was an emotional victory because I get to have my parents around longer, stronger, and healthier. They, they're just so happy because they've gotten, I mean, it took 10 years off their life. I shared my story from Butcher to Vegan and another butcher who was actually still a butcher re read it and he went vegan and he quit his job and he started a new life. Um, to be in an, and the thing is, is he had a family to provide for. So it wasn't like, you know, I'm just going to quit my job today. There was so much riding on that. But obviously it was so compelling and it resonated with him on such a deep level. He realized that in order for him to feel the type of life he wanted to live, he had to change everything about his life like I did. And that to me was super inspiring because I know how much it fulfilled me walking away and changing my life from that. And so I can only imagine the, the type of rewards that it's gave and gives him. The most powerful transformation I've seen in my patients is – um, completely reversing their type two diabetes. For me, I, you know, diabetes is, can be such a devastating illness and to help people, uh, reverse their insulin resistance and come off of medications and end up in a place where they don't even have pre-diabetes just by changing the food that they eat, um, is unbelievable. And it's something that I don't think people realize is possible. It may not be possible for everyone, but it is definitely possible for many. And uh, it's, it's one of the best feelings I've had as a physician, seeing patients turn that around. I definitely would have to say my husband's. I mean, the fact that he no longer needed that third sinus surgery because he removed dairy out of his diet, I would say he inspired me and he inspired me to start bodybuilding. He inspired me to go vegan. And his story was so powerful to me. And that's why I started Fit Vegan Chef, basically, because of him. I lost 133 pounds. So that was pretty transformational. And yeah, so then um, the day that uh, I received a diagnosis of stage four kidney cancer, given a terminal diagnosis, given month to a, a couple of years to live, I thought I was going to die. And at one point, as we log all our experiences um, via video or writing or photographs, I thought about logging my, my experience regardless of what was going to happen. But I was at that point, I just could not see myself putting my family through the what was felt to be the inevitable outcome of me dying and having this compilation of this miserable journey that I went through. And um, so I didn't do it. I, I kind of have regrets of not because I know I would even have something, people modalities are different and to have that visual imagery of, of what I went just through. Getting better and, and better, better and, and healthier better. and healthier. So yeah, it, um, but again, it, it, um, it emotionally saved my life uh, and uh, physically gave me uh, more of a fighting chance against that 95% that odd of dying. And I didn't die. And I'm still alive. I'm cancer free. And um, for those out there, too, that we're not uh, we never give advice or, or recommendations as to uh, do, do one treatment, not another treatment. But if you are considering all these other treatments, why would you not consider adopting a whole food plant based diet 
and looking at making what could be a drastic, viewed as a drastic change in your dietary style, but why not? Yeah, you've, you've got nothing to lose nothing. and everything to yeah. gain. The most powerful transformation I've seen with patients is being able to break down that physician-patient relationship and literally hand back the power and responsibility to the patient and empower someone to know that this is no longer a lifelong, I'm giving you drugs, we're managing this, you're monitoring this, we're going to manage this. It's I'm giving you a chance to have your best shot at a healthy, happy, long-lived, thriving lifestyle. You'll see your kids grow up. You'll be able to do everything that you dream of in the best health that you can be. And when you tell people that, that is empowering. People want to see their grandkids. They want to do all the things that they can do. And to be able to say, you don't need me, you don't need anyone. This is in your hands and your power. I think that's the most inspiring story that I can see for people.